So, um, so Joe, how yeah. old are you? I'm 20. 20, 20. Years old. and so you were saying you, you used to, you, you were one of the instigators of this park. Yeah. Um, so how, how did this park come about then? Well, there's a few people that are key players in it, but uh, you can't go without mentioning Jane. Uh, Jane, yeah, Jane's done everything for the park. I mean, and who, who's she? Is she a local uh, person? She's a local person. Yeah, she. Uh, I describe her as very in touch with the young people. She's always down here, always with the young people. Uh, she's basically put her blood, sweat, and tears into this park, and right. she was the one that's sitting through the weekly meetings and uh, yeah, raising the money through um, things like the lottery fund, the youth opportunity yeah. fund. And so, and, uh, and so without this skate park, you know, what what would the young people be doing? Well, before this skate park, we there was a big group of us that used to go to Waitrose Car Park. Right. We had nowhere to go. We always loved skating. And uh, without this skate park, Sapphire is a dreary place, in my opinion. Right. Uh, I think it's the best thing we've got. I mean, just here today, like, there must be, what, 30, 40 skaters here. Yeah. There's a few mums up there, some people sitting on the green mile. It just creates such an atmosphere. So, so, Chris, yeah? Yes. And you, you live locally to here? Yeah, yeah, not far away. And, and you were saying earlier that you remember when this was not a skate park. Definitely, So yeah. what kind of an impact do you think it's had on the local young people since it's been made? Um, well, I mean, look around, you know, it's um, summer holidays and I can't think of a better place for them to go. It's um, certainly, um, certainly better than the kids riding around on pavements and uh, sure. stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's an exciting place to be and uh, it's a nice social area. There's, um, yeah, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no nastiness going on here, it's all very friendly. And, and do you think that people that would otherwise have skated in the town, do, 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 do people still skate in the town or do they just come straight no, here? I don't think they bother anymore and you know, that's, the, that's the point, you know, the kids want to do this sort of thing um, and until relatively recently there wasn't the facilities in place to do it. So okay. um, it's made a big difference, um, the people who come, not just local lads, but people who come from all over to really enjoy this park. Um, and plenty of others that we've been to as well, so popular places. And you're, you, you got your son here with you? Yes, yep. And yep, he's, uh, where is he? He's just gone off here on a scooter. Just gone off on a scooter. How, how old is he? He's uh, just seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, so, I think these things, you know, I think people can get a bit sort of hell about the, the, the risks involved in stuff like this. To be honest, if, if my kids were going to come out somewhere and ride or skate, I would rather they did them here under my supervision than you know, backwards and forwards near the roads, yep. stuff like that, um, and it, it's, there's signs everywhere saying, you know, get the protective gear on, um, but that works with everything, you know, if they play football, they wear protective gear, sure. it's, you know, it's, um, <coughs> it's, it's a sport, it's active, it's healthy, um, I stuff. think generally they have had events, we came down to a, um, it was a, a day of, of BMX really, it wasn't a competition, but it was a kind of a, there was a spirit of competition involved, you know, there yep. were some people here who were sponsored riders from, um, from well-known BMX oh, right, okay. Um and I think rather than you know, a, a specific things in place to teach people how to do it, um, I think they're very good at passing down the knowledge and just seeing sure. yeah, perhaps the more mature riders or skaters, whatever, um, trying to um, try and improve their skills and it's just handy down, you see people, you keep come down here one week and you see someone learning by the two weeks time they've mastered it and, uh, and that just gets handed down so that's okay. good healthy stuff. All right, thanks very much for chatting. That's thanks. Right, you're Cheers. All right. Saff and Walden, comparing it to Swale Cliff, what, what worked and what didn't work? It flowed better. It had nice transition. Yeah, there was a clear run as well. Yeah, you could go yeah, all the way around the skate park and you can area. use everything. Not yeah. this, like, it's spaced out so everyone's going to get in the way. It can't get too jam packed. So there's plenty of things to use and it varies. The Shelton was nice. There was lots of different places to sit, weren't there? And there were kind of beginner areas and yeah, intermediate and advanced. Like, yeah, a lot of time like thinking about how things are going to flow together rather than just putting whole street stuff and yeah. then just leaving it. And yeah. there was like a little mini beginner bit, weren't there, with the curved yeah, layer. Yeah, there's like a little flatland street thing. Yeah, they, 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 they had, thought about everything really. Yeah, they had a flatland bit of a long rail. There's yeah. also a street part, which is really good for people who don't skate a lot of part. And you can also learn to skate street as well. And, and the transitions between the bowls weren't cute as well, so you could get over them. 